We have the third day of Halloween event and finally guys, I found enough time to make this list. So in this video, let's check how many pumpkin keys you can get from missions, how many ghosts you can catch during this event, what are the best things to exchange your candies on, and the last what I will show you, how to claim all rewards from clan progress not being in a clan. Of course you should be in a clan, but not like permanently. Anyway, let's start from missions and pumpkin keys. As you can see, in this list we have numbers with white and yellow colors. Numbers with white color means that a number is confirmed. Yellow color means that number is suggested. For example, I know that to complete open chest mission you need to open 300 chests. Or to complete kill monster mission you need to kill 1 and 2 million enemies. While complete special ops mission, right now I cannot tell you for sure that the cap is 60 and you'll get 2 pumpkin keys. So yellow numbers are suggested and this list I will be updating every day on my discord server. If you want to download in a good quality, join it, check this channel, the link on it I'll leave in the description and comments of this video. Ok guys, as you can see, if you'll fully complete all missions, you'll be able to get 234 pumpkin keys. It's only for missions, not counting keys which you can find behind doors or from sales or by spending your gems on them. You could notice that you can get a lot of pumpkin keys by opening chests up to 60. So logically most of you have a question, how many is it worth to open? I personally recommend you to open 8100 chests till the last day. And the last day open more if it's needed. For example, you will need to catch two ghosts to get this cash chest. Now let's go to the next question, how many ghosts you can catch. So far I got 116 keys from missions and caught 19 ghosts. I must say that it's bad result because average is 1 ghost per 6 doors. At first it started for me well, I caught 11 ghosts with 56 keys, but now it's only 8 with 60 keys. On my second account I have better luck with 103 keys, I caught 22 ghosts which is a way better because average is less than 5 doors. From what I see guys from my two accounts, I also have a channel on my discord server, in which I am exciting players to help us to catch 1600 ghosts. I do a little statistic here and not only here to count their average. Usually guys it's between 5 and 6, but sometimes a player has a little better or little worse result. As a bright example, I have my two accounts on which you can see that my main account has a little worse average and my second account has a little better average. So guys, based on this information, these statistics, if you'll use to earn keys, uh, not counting keys which you'll find behind doors, with really good RNG, it's possible to get this cash chest. You may be lucky with pumpkin keys or catching more ghosts, or you may not and it doesn't matter which method you will use. Ok guys, let's go to the next question on what to exchange your candies. But at first, let's try to find out how many candies you'll be able to get during this event. Based on information from my two accounts, average is 15 candies per one key. So if you'll use 200 pumpkin keys, excluding keys which you'll find behind doors, you should get around 3000 sweets. Ok, now we know approximate amount of candies, let's find out on what to exchange them. I personally like outfits, if you like them too, then of course buy them. But if you're that player that hunting for higher stats for better equipments, I recommend you to buy this cash chest with S supply keys. The reason why I recommend you to buy S supply keys, not this random S equipment, because with S supply keys you'll have a chance to get S equipment from your wish list. Yeah, you will not get guaranteed S equipment within 30 openings. But you'll be closer and besides that, you'll get equipments. As for me, it's better guys than getting one random S equipment, which can be for example eternal boots. But it's just my recommendation because you can also get for example twisting belt. On your left candies, I recommend you to buy or hero shards or one of these stones. Depending on how many you will have. The last what we have guys are rewards from clan progress. Currently, my clan is about to get random S equipment, but we can claim all these rewards together. So what you need? You have to join my Discord server, visit this channel. From this channel, I am sending players to my clan. They help us to catch more ghosts, I give them a special role. 
and when we'll catch 1000 things on a ghost. All players that help us, I will take them back again and they will claim all these rewards. That's how you can claim all these rewards even being in inactive clan. So guys, that's all by now, if you find this video useful, of course like it. Don't forget to subscribe my channel to not miss more useful videos. But if you don't agree with me on something, write in comments and we'll discuss it.